Hi everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about my favourite topic in the whole world and that is hair care. What products I use to give me long, luscious, thick, beautiful hair that literally stops people in the streets to ask what products I use on my hair, how I get it to be healthy and how thick it is. Now I've got to the stage that I will go out on a night out or literally in a day, could be either, and without fail I will get someone come up to me and comment on my hair and ask what products I use, how I get my hair to be like it is, how do I get it thick and healthy. So yeah, I thought I would share the products that I use. And this video specifically is going to be about the pre-wash hair care that I use. I will do another video regarding the actual wash stage and the post hair wash stage as well. So you need to get yourself a good hairbrush. So brushing your hair is actually such an important stage because you want to make sure that you're stimulating your scalp that allows for any dead hair to fall out and allow regrowth of the new hair. So what I do is um, every evening before I go to bed, I will literally just brush through my hair for about five minutes non-stop just to stimulate my scalp. And it's basically just giving your scalp a massage and allowing for regrowth basically and to allow that blood flow in your scalp. But you wanna be also very careful when you're brushing your hair. So when you first start brushing your hair, you just wanna grab the bottom and bits and work your way up so nothing rips and nothing tears and nothing destroys your hair basically because if you straight away go from the root you're most likely to rip your hair because it's always going to be knotted at the bottom so just be very careful when you are brushing your hair okay so now we're going to go on to the products that i use and the routine before i wash my hair what I do first is I will jump in the shower and I will wet my hair. I don't put any product in it yet. I will literally just rinse my hair, get out of the shower, let it towel dry for a little while so it's damp. Again, brush through your hair with the trusty hairbrush, but you wanna make sure, again, you're extra careful this time because when your hair is wet, it is more delicate and more prone to breakage. So again, really, really gentle when brushing it. And then you are gonna get your first product and your first product is going to be the Olaplex number three. And what Olaplex number three is, is a hair perfecter and it repairs and strengthens all hair types. So the um, instructions that come with this is to use once a week or if you've got really damaged hair, two to three times a week. Apply on damp, towel dried hair and then apply a generous amount from scalp to end until it is thoroughly saturated. So yeah, what I will do is run that from my root all the way down to the ends. She uses quite a lot for me, if I'm honest, quite a lot of product because I do have a lot of hair and my hair is really thick. I love this product. I've been using Olaplex for about nearly, probably nearly three years now. And I will say this video isn't sponsored. I'm not being paid to say this at all. It's just literally a shout out to Olaplex because Olaplex are the company that have saved my hair so much. I will insert some videos or some pictures in this clip to show you what my hair was like before um, and obviously you can see right now my hair is ready to be washed, it's greasy and um, so yeah it's not looking the best right now but I'm just trying to show you what products I use. An alternative to this, what I use, sometimes I mix these two products together um, in my hair, but you don't need to, I just do it for the extra moisture. Um, you put this just exactly the same as how you apply the Olaplex. It is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. And it's to strengthen and protect extremely dry, brittle hair. This uh, company is also very, very good. They have all natural products. Um, it's just a lovely company. This company really also helps my hair as well. So a big shout out to Shea Moisture. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Or Shea, Shea, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you want to, you can mix these both together and put 
in the roots and the lengths of your hair. Then you're going to go back in with your hairbrush, again, really gentle brushing your hair, just so all the products are evenly distributed throughout your hair. And now next stage is my favourite stage, and this is the hair oiling stage. My all time favourite products that I've been using recently is the hair syrup Rapunzel hair oiling serum. So what this is, is a pre-wash hair oil treatment and this company I love. They have so many different products that are beneficial for different hair types and this company has their, all their products, all of their ingredients are natural, vegan and cruelty free so they are just an amazing company. There's no silicones or sulfates in their products so it's all natural ingredients which is so also so important when you are use the hair care products, you just want natural ingredients. The silicones will just coat your hair and make it look shiny when it's not actually absorbing into your hair. So you want natural products, which this is. So what you would do with this, um, as you can see, this top isn't the best for putting in your scalp. It's quite a big pumping system. I don't personally like that pump so what I did I went on to Amazon and I bought myself this it kind of looks like a baby's bottle <laughs> but what you do is literally you undo the lid you pour this into here and you do up the lid Ooh. and voila and you can see from these bristles here that's where the hair oil will come out of. So what you do, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not gonna wash my hair just yet. I can't turn this upside down because the oil will come out, but you will literally run this through your hair, pretend this is upside down, and it will evenly distribute the oil throughout your scalp, which I think is a lot more easier personally than using the pump. So yeah, they're both the same product, but just in different bottles. So yeah, that's the hair oil. So what Hair Syrup does, on their website, they have a little quiz section which they ask you questions about what you're suffering with hair-wise at the moment. Is your hair really dry? Is it really greasy? Do you suffer from dandruff? And you select what kind of things you are suffering from in the hair department. And then at the end of that quiz, they will suggest what product is best for you. They're all pre-wash hair oil treatments um, for your scalp and for the lengths of your hair. But yeah, it will let you know which one is best for you to use and buy. And then, yeah, you go from there. Mine was Rapunzel, also Vitamin C Me, but I, I haven't tried the other products yet, but I would happily try them because they are all great. And then next step is to massage your scalp. And you will do this by using this little product here which is basically a scalp massager um, it easily fits in your hand and you will literally just go like this all over your scalp and that will massage the hair oil deep into your scalp so what scalp massaging will help with is the flow of blood in your scalp and also strengthens your hair as well there's so many benefits of massaging your scalp it just increases basically the growth of new hair and strengthen your current hair as well so yeah even if you don't have one of these literally just use your fingers it's the same thing just give it a good old massage like so it's it's basically the same thing but obviously there's more little claws <laughs> before i had this product i was using a little concoction that i made for myself and that was rosemary essential oil this little bottle here and i also bought the ordinary 100 percent organic cold pressed moroccan argan oil this and it comes with a little pipette like that. What I did, I used a little bottle like this, just with an easy screw top that can easily run through your roots. Mix these two together, but you wanna be really careful with rosemary essential oil because you don't wanna be just putting that on your scalp because that will cause more damage than it will help you because Essential oil is really strong and it will actually burn your skin if you leave it on there So what you want to do is you want to mix that size bottle and I will put about 
five drops of the rosemary essential oil in there little top like that it just comes out really slowly so literally not not much at all another product that i don't actually have on me at the moment so i need to make some more of it's a homemade product and it is rosemary water and this is so so simple and it is very beneficial for hair growth as well same as rosemary oil is it's the same thing but one's water one's oil so what you want to do is literally just go to the supermarket get some rosemary boil the leaves in some water for a few minutes and this water leave it to cool down completely cool down because you don't want to be putting boiling water in your hair <laughs> you will then put it into a bottle that will easily be applied to your scalp and you will pour you just pour this water all over your scalp and again just massage it and it is really really beneficial for hair growth actually saying that another product that i used homemade product really easily made is rice water so you thoroughly wash your rice in water wash it through many times and you will then boil your rice as normal you could even do this if you are planning on cooking and eating the rice anyway so just do it after a meal once the rice is cooked and boiled you will then as normal pour out the water but you're going to save this water and obviously leave it to cool down you are going to literally just pour this all over your hair and i actually left the rice water in my hair so what rice water does and how it's beneficial for your hair is it has so many vitamins, minerals and also amino acids that really help to strengthen and nourish your hair. So rice water is definitely another one to be using as your pre-wash treatment. I mean, I also left the rice water in my hair. So after I washed my hair, I would just pour all this rice water all over my scalp and all over my hair. Um, and then I would leave it in until... I needed to wash my hair again. I didn't make my hair smell personally. And then once all of these products are in your hair, so the hair oil, the Olaplex and the sheer moisture are in your hair, obviously you still have damp hair. I do all of these in the evening. So what you want to do is I put my hair in a little plait, a really loose plait because you don't want anything to be pulling at your roots. And then you will get one of these. It's a silk little hat thing and you just place it on your head like that with all of your wet hair and all the ingredients inside it's just so that the ingredients don't go all over your bed and you're not you know destroying your pillow with the hair oil yeah yeah and then you just sleep in that for the night the next morning is then when i will wash my hair and wash all of these products out i do recommend that you only leave them in for 30 plus minutes but i don't i just leave them on in overnight or if i'm in a rush yeah i'll leave them in for the 30 minutes so yeah it really depends what kind of situation you're in if you need to wash your hair that night so i actually forgot yesterday to finish off the video so tomorrow is actually the day that i'm going to start prepping my hair ready for hair wash so everything in this video i will actually film and do live on the camera just to show you the actual process um, that I do. And there will also be probably either one or two more parts after this video, which will be actually washing my hair and the products I use to wash my hair. And then again, once I get out of the shower, my post hair wash routine as well. So there are a lot of stages to washing my hair and the prep and the the care that I actually put into washing my hair. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to see anything else or hear any more recommendations that I may have, then let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.